Hi there, my name is Amanda Silver Sister, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to share a couple techniques that might help you with your gray hair grow out. Uh, when I started, I didn't realize that there were options or different ways that you might approach this. So I just did the regular grow out and then I changed two months in. And so I'll, and one of the techniques that I use is one of the ones that I'm gonna cover. So I wanna talk about that and hopes that if you are very new at this beginning of this journey that you'll go, oh, I can do that, maybe I'll do that. That'll make it easier for me. Or if you're getting discouraged in your journey, you'll know that there are some other options to do. So I'm gonna start with the most drastic and bold option, which absolutely I know is not for everyone. And that is that I have seen some Silver Sisters who started their journey by completely shaving their head. This is such a badass move, I think, and I could never do it. But it certainly makes your like your transition fast because you are fully gray right when the little inch comes through. So what I've noticed that women who do this, they have a lot of confidence. And they generally have some amazing features or what I consider amazing features. So they might have this great shaped head or these really prominent cheekbones or these beautiful eyes that pop or great lips. There's something that when they do it, they just, it's like a glow up for them. And, um, you know, that's not for everyone. I don't think I would be bold enough or that I could actually get away with it. So I didn't do it. But it is an option for many people um, that just decide, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it bold. So that is cool. The second option um, that you can do is simply to go and get your hair cut. So a lot of people, can, some people go just pixie cut. And then what I did is I did um, kind of a, a short bob. But I think what's really exciting about this option is that very quickly, your percentage of dyed hair to gray hair is drastically increased. <laughs> so my hair was probably about down here to start. Then I cut it all the way up here. Well, that was all of that ends that I didn't have to watch grow out. It was just gone. So I did two of these actually. So I did um, this with another, with the next method actually. Um, and for me, it was awesome and I'm so glad that I did it. So having that percentage change so drastically was just super encouraging for me. So the third option is highlights, lowlights, or gray blending. I'm not sure if it's a different thing. I've always called what I did gray blending. I don't, I'm not sure if I did highlights or lowlights, but the general underlying message here is you go see your stylist and see what they can do to match your grow out journey so that it is less drastic. They may choose the highlight option. They may choose the low light or a blend of each. I thought what I did was called gray blending and I thought that just meant my whole hair was lightened. I think that is in fact what I did. Um, but there are options and you can go and discuss that with your hairdresser. I think for me, I had to change my way of thinking a little bit to do this because as soon as I did it, I was a little bit loud and proud about ditching the dye. And then I went back and dyed my hair in two months to, I didn't dye the part that had grown out. Um, but I did that and it in fact was what I attribute to my ability to have been successful at this journey. So I love that option. But when I started, I just really didn't know that I could do those things. Um, and I may have done that right from the beginning, but I wasn't, you know, I didn't know. And actually the fifth thing that I'm gonna talk about, the last one I'm on four now, but the fifth one I had no idea about, and I probably would have done it had I had known about it earlier. So the fourth one is just the regular, normal, grow out, cold turkey option. This one takes a lot of patience, but as somebody who is watching other women go gray, that one is the best one to watch. I love watching women who have this huge demarcation line, and particularly if they go from dark to really, really white. It is the coolest journey to watch. I feel like it takes a lot of confidence to do it because you can't hide it. And it is, um, we're normalizing it a little bit more. So I think we're seeing more and more women choose this option. Um, but it is absolutely the most obvious for people. So you can't hide that you're going gray. So that that's just a, one regular one if you choose that. I, and I, I love watching you if that's what you're doing. So the final one is um, something called the dye strip technique. And now that I've learned about it, I think I may have actually done this had I known about it, but I didn't know about it until I was far into my journey. So basically with this one is you continue to dye the top of your hair 
um, but you let the underneath of your hair, this is my understanding, um, go gray. What I love about this one is if you are just sick of it and you want to get rid of the dye and you want to do it now, but you're like, well, I can't because, you know, my son's getting married this summer. I've got to speak at this event. I've got this, I've got this. You've got all these things. It never feels like a great time to go gray. With this one, you kind of get the best of both worlds because when your hair is down, no one gets to see your grays. When your hair is up, you can see how far you've come with your gray hair grow out. And so um, I actually first saw this on a lady that's over on TikTok and she's an actress. And because of some auditions that she has, she just never felt like she had a, a good opportune moment to have that huge demarcation line. So then when she decided to stop doing this dye strip technique, she went gray so fast because she was actually half transitioned. We just never saw it. So that's a really cool option for me or for, for people, I think. And it wasn't for me. If I had known it, I probably would have done it. So having said all of this, there are so many options to get you to your full gray hair journey. It is not for the faint of heart, none of these. It is not a quick process. So I think I would have considered myself fully transitioned at about 18 months in. But one thing I think is very important for, I just wanna to say to people that are out there, people that are watching, the other thing that's really freeing about going gray is just to allow yourself permission that you don't have to keep it if you don't like it. You can go through the journey and you can go six months in and decide, you know what, I don't like it. And you can be loud and proud and say, you know, natural hair all the way, dye is bad. And you are allowed to change your mind. <laughs> so for me, I, I can tell you right now, and it's documented now for the world to see that I will never dye my hair again. That's how I'm feeling in this moment. And I say it with conviction. But if my circumstance changed or something's changed and I decided to go dye my hair again, it is an option. So I want women to know that. It would be a hard option, I think, for many women if you've invested two years of your life growing out your grays. I actually saw someone here on YouTube. I think she's a fairly famous YouTuber, but I'm, I'm new here. Um, but the poor thing, she had tried some of this temporary hair color. So I'm so glad I saw her video because I am never going to try temporary hair color because of what happened to her. So she had stunning, stunning hair and it was all great and I loved it. Um, but apparently, I guess she tried this temporary hair color and I think maybe she didn't really know that um, our gray hair is very porous and um, it's almost like an empty tube that will suck in all the color. So unfortunately, I think it took away that beautiful hair color and I don't think it was temporary and it kind of wrecked her hair. Um, so for that, that lady, oh gosh, it was heartbreaking to watch. Um, but for that lady, she did end up dyeing her hair and I actually don't know if she's gray or growing out or stayed dyed. Um, uh, I'm not really sure. But anyways, there are many, many reasons is what I'm trying to say that you may want to go re-dye your hair and you don't owe an explanation to anyone. Um, the Silver Sister community is very supportive. At the end of the day, what I think is, is I'm going to support Silver Sisters. And if you decide to be one, that's great if you're supporting me. But if you decide that you want to go back, you supporting other Silver Sisters and not being that woman who casts judgment on somebody who's going gray or someone and, and just being there to champion them, whether you like that, like their option or not. That to me is what the Silver Sister community is all about. Um, it's just women supporting women. I say on my Instagram all the time that women supporting women is our superpower. And if women just understood that, um, I think the world would be a better place. So anyways, that is it for me today. Um, and the last thing I want to say is happy International Women's Day, everybody. I hope that you feel valued as a woman. Um, I don't know if you are on Instagram at all. Actually, I'll put my picture right here. So we did this big Silver Sister initiative over on Instagram where we decided that so many, like hundreds and hundreds, and it was worldwide. So it actually started for me yesterday seeing the pictures come on. So New Zealand and Australia were first to go. Um, and then we all took pictures in red or red, red lipstick, red hair, red, not red hair, red shirts, red um, lipstick, red earrings, something red. And I think the theme this year, it's called um, embracing, um, embracing inequality. I think that was what, what the theme was. In the end, embrace the equity. I don't know. Now, now I'm struggling. Anyways, okay, sorry. <laughs> I digress. Um, I think it's I think it's actually embrace 
inequity is what I, what I think it is. But anyway, so we, we were saying like, let's do a Silver Sister spin on it and we'll kind of spin it and talk a little bit more about ageism. So you hug yourself because you're embracing yourself. And um, yeah, just, it was a wonderful movement and there was so many great, great pictures uh, and it was just really fun to be a part. So happy International Women's Day, everyone. And uh, if you haven't celebrated yourself today, make sure you do so. Okay, take care.